What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on Baba stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you on a bigger picture what should we expect from the price action and how this asset will go much higher from current ranges. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point and I've told you that uh, we broke uh, first of all this range of uh, support, then retested from the bottom and went slightly lower. And because of this retest, I've told you that most likely we should see lower price targets and we should break this previous swing low. But instead of this, we retested again, let me show you more thoroughly, we retested again uh, this uh, range of resistance for the second time, bounced back and broke it to the upside and uh, I have to say that uh, the breakout volume was uh, quite high compared to previous one and that's why this might be a quite good sign but uh, I will show you in my technical analysis that we are not out of the woods so and uh, what should we expect next uh, from the price section I will show you in just several minutes and for now let's continue with the fundamental news first of all let me show you this article it was published uh, on Seeking Alpha on October the 3rd and it's titled Alibaba, don't give up now. And uh, let me quote you the summary. Uh, China is heading to its monumental 20th CPC National Congress in mid-October, as Chinese President Xi Jinping aims to secure his unprecedented third presidential term. Alibaba stock uh, has continued to fall towards its March May lows through October as sellers intensified their bearish conviction. However, we believe the sell-off indicates uh, a move uh, to de-risk BABA ahead of the pivotal National Congress. China's economy has also improved in Q3, and uh, in my opinion this is a very important point. Therefore, China looks increasingly likely to continue its economic recovery through Q4, which could lift Alibaba's operating matrix through 2023. And again, uh, when the entire economy is moving higher, uh, the major companies uh, also should go higher no matter what. And Alibaba definitely is one of these companies. And uh, we should uh, take a closer look on a bigger picture on this asset, because uh, if uh, some problems will be solved in upcoming uh, months, definitely this asset will skyrocket. And first of all, let me show you one of their drivers. Right here we are on Statista.com. And uh, here is uh, the chart of uh, annual revenue of Alibaba Cloud from 2018 to 2022. And uh, on one of my previous videos I've told you that Alibaba Cloud uh, is uh, one of the potential biggest drivers of this company for upcoming decade. And uh, for now it is uh, the third largest uh, cloud service in the world, right after the uh, uh, Amazon Cloud and uh, Microsoft Cloud. And as you can see right here from 2018 to 2022, it has a huge growth in uh, their revenue. And uh, on 2018 they had only $2 billion, $135 million. And uh, right here on 2022 they have 117 million six three billion dollars in revenue and th this means uh, this trend might go higher let me show you this chart uh, this is the uh, china public cloud uh, services forecast and as you can see from 2016 to 2020 compound annual growth rate was 62.4 percent mind-blowing uh, cagr and from 2020 to 2025 uh, the estimates of compound, annual, of compound annual growth rate is 33.3%. And definitely, on these highly emerging markets, uh, one of the leaders uh, should benefit a lot. And uh, definitely, Alibaba might be one of them. And uh, let me show you another quite interesting detail. Uh, we are on digitaljournal.com. And this article was published, uh, let me show you, uh, on October the 4th and it says wearable payment device market with 12.06% compound annual growth rate. Emerging trends, in-depth analysis of industry, share size, key market dynamics, restraints and forecast to 2022 to 2027. And one of the companies that might benefit from this uh, industry as well is Alibaba, as you can see right here. And if we try to find uh, this uh, list, uh, as you can see, uh, the question 
is which are the prominent wearable payment device market players across the globe and Alibaba is on the third place. Definitely, this might be another major catalyst uh, for the long term for this asset. And I have to say that uh, for now, uh, let me switch to monthly time frame and let me show you the bigger picture. Let me clean the chart and let me show you this. So, uh, this asset uh, from uh, the very beginning of October 2020 till present day has a harsh movement to the downside without any retracements. And this means uh, most likely we should see at least a bounce to the upside that might uh, bring a lot of profits to potential investors. And let me show you on a daily uh, time frame that uh, we have uh, the date of uh, their earnings report at the very beginning of November. We don't have the precise date, but definitely it will be at the very beginning of November. On top of that, the end of November and beginning of December will be the date uh, where we can see the results of uh, the PCAOB audit that will uh, eliminate uh, the risks, uh, probably eliminate the risks of the listing Chinese companies from US stock exchanges. And one of the first companies that will be on the safe territory uh, is uh, Alibaba because it is in the list of first five companies whose audit uh, is already in process. And that's why we have to wait uh, till the end of November, beginning of December until uh, these results will be published. And uh, definitely if uh, the results uh, will be positive, this will be a major catalyst for Alibaba. On top of that, let me show you uh, the economic calendar and right here you can see that uh, on October 13th uh, we will uh, have a new inflation rates and uh, next one will be at the very beginning of uh, November let me show you somewhere here wait a second yes uh, on the on November the 10th we will see the next results and in my opinion these two dates uh, will bring us uh, again a 0.75 percentage point of uh, interest rates hike but at the end in the middle of uh, December let me show you right here wait a second again on December 13th we will have uh, the last uh, interest rate hike uh, for this year and if uh, this uh, number will be about 0.5 percentage point definitely it will be another catalyst and uh, December 13th uh, probably might be the closest date to the end of uh, the audit from PCAOB and definitely these two catalysts if uh, we'll see some positive news might uh, bring a lot of uh, power to uh, Alibaba stock price so and let's continue with the technical analysis but before we dive deep right here please subscribe to my channel hit notification bell and hit the like button this helps me a lot so guys let me show you uh, right here that um, uh, if uh, it is not the case and if it is the top of our fifth wave and I have to say that uh, this movement from this bottom to this top uh, is quite tricky to uh, make a breakdown but if it is the top uh, we can uh, have probably this type of formation this might be our A wave somewhere here this might be the B wave and this might be the C wave and the C wave uh, should have a shape of five wave structure and if my assumption is correct as you can see right here we have only one two three probably this might be the fourth wave and we have to have one more leg to the downside to complete the C wave and in this case uh, we might land again and I've told you this in my previous video, at this range of support, it is its lowest point so far, swing low at $73.28. And uh, if uh, this asset breaks this range of resistance at 88, roughly $88.04, we will pretty much invalidate this count and uh, this might be, let me show you, this probably might be the uh, bottom of the C wave. But so far I still stand on my position that we have to land a bit lower. And if it is the case, uh, you should wait for the retracement because uh, on the uh, RSI, as you can see, if you switch to hourly time frame, or two hours time frame might be more useful, I guess. We have uh, this type of uh, formation, it is the channel. And uh, definitely it is a bearish channel and uh, it should break to the downside. And when we will see this uh, breakout below this range of support, the price action will drop as well. So I think uh, from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna kick
caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap. Only God wants you, better go live it up.